season really gets going. Yes, sir. We got today and tomorrow night and then kick it off Friday night in Las Cruces. Battle of I-10. Yes, sir. That's a big rivalry. What's it like playing up there and not here? <laughs> it's it's a hostile environment. Their fans are, are very loud and uh, it's a tough place to play. Yeah, a tight game last Sunday. Two to one, still kind of close. Any remarks about that game? It was a great learning experience for us and to play a team that was that good was helped us learn a lot about our team and I'm so glad that we got to have that, that game because we have a very young team this year. What kind of adjustments have you made for this game coming out? Uh, well, we got to see what tactical formation works best for us and some players that are going to shine in, in the pressure. Crenshaw took that PK last game. Is she going to be the PK shooter from here on out? She might be. She's worked on them all summer. We've got a few others that can take them as well, but she's been working on it all summer. Anything you'd like to say, Coach? Well, we really appreciate El Paso's support. I hope they come out. and We need some orange to come up the road on Friday night for Battle of I-10. And then Sunday we need um, is our home opener here. It's a Camp Reunion Night reunion day against Abilene Christian and they're one of the uh, hardest working teams on our schedule so we need some people to come out on Sunday too. And